Good afternoon and welcome to Around the Tiers. I'm Steph Stoiko. It's time to announce today's Southern Tier Tuesday's winner. Congratulations to Hope Adult and Teen Challenge. The nonprofit is being awarded $2,000 from Upstate Shredding and Adam and Clover Weitzman. And joining me now in studio is Lisa Busby. And thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on winning Southern Tier thank Tuesdays. <laughs> Tell us how it felt when you found out that you won. I was ecstatic. Um, I had, when I found out and got the call, I had ran over to Richard Mecklenburg, who's the president of the ministry, and I just screamed at him, oh my God, we won, we won. And I jumped on him and everything. It was an awesome feeling. <laughs> and can you just tell us a little bit more about the Hope Adult and Teen Challenge and what you do throughout the community? Okay, we're a home for women, um, a residential home for women that, um, that are looking for a place for restoration. It could be a situation of um, addiction or um, abuse or neglect um, or somebody that's just really having a hard time moving forward in life and just needs to, to take some time away to, um, to get themselves to uh, learn new coping skills to distract themselves from some of the different ways that they that they think and they believe in their perceptions. And so we start um, with a family-like environment because we believe that's where it starts, you know, to build, rebuild a healthy environment for them. So we are a home for women that are 17 and up, um, and it's an 18-month program, and they come there for help uh, to restore their lives. And what are some of those services and coping skills that you provide for these women? Some of the coping skills have to do with um, life skills, um, emotional intelligence, working through some of their feelings, working through some of their um, their reactions to things. Um, they work on some of the root issues, their trauma. Um, it's also working together as a team and as a family, team building. Um, a lot of it has to do with not only just learning the things, but walking through it and living it. So that's why it's 18 months. So they stay there and they actually work through this every day with each other. Um, little triggers where they set each other off and how to grow through that. Um, just just doing life skills. And then at the end, there's a transitional period where they can go to work part-time or um, go to school part-time while they're still living in the home. And that helps them because they've changed, but the world is still the same. So they learn how to deal with that transition in a healthy way. And oftentimes, some of these women may say like, uh, you know, I wish I could do this part of my life over. And what would you say to them? You can, you can. And that's what I want anybody that is listening to know, that there is a safe place that you can go to um, because addiction is rampant out there. And I just want people to know that there's a place that you can go that wants to help you, that that we have the skills to help you and we've developed the tools to be there for you and support you through each step of it. So they're like, for people that are wondering, you know, what do I do? How do I start? Call us up. Call us up and, and, and talk to us and give us a chance to explain to you how we can help you. And we provide a safe environment for them, a home for these women, um, just to help them to move through that, tr that hard transitional period. And what will you be doing with this grant money that you were awarded? We are working on the ladies' bedrooms. We have been doing renovations um, to try to enhance the environment for them. Um, so Pastor Richard Mecklenburg is an engineer, and so he has designed a few things that um, have helped because when the girls come in, they have a hard time sleeping uh, because of the, the, the different environments that they've come from. So he's developed different things to help to help with that. So the money is going towards enhancing that that uh, renovation for the bedroom. We will be re-recruiting uh, at the end of this month and beginning of February. So we'll be looking for women that are looking for help. And where can they go to find that help? If not call, is there a specific website? A social There's media a, page? We have a Facebook page and um, we have my phone number, which is, uh, I, I've given you, I don't know if you want me to say it, um, my phone number and my email. Uh, and that is also on our Facebook page. Well, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Congratulations again on winning thank Southern Tier so Tuesdays. Much. I'll get some more specific details to you now. Hope Adult and Teen Challenge is committed to helping women become mentally, emotionally sound, socially adjusted, physically well, and spiritually alive. Hope Adult and Teen Challenge helps women who are struggling develop a whole new view of themselves. With this grant, the organization will help enrich the experience and atmosphere of the bedrooms for the women. For more on Hope Adult Teen Challenge, you can visit the Facebook page that's